Hello dear students my name is Ruchi Sanger and this lesson is for class 11 English core from the NCERT textbook Hornbill This is part 1 of chapter 7 titled The Adventure by Jayanth Narlikar The objectives of this audio lesson are to familiarize you all with the preceding part of the story in your text, to apply basic concepts of the catastrophe theory and parallel universe theory to this particular story, to construct the story in sequence and to appreciate the science fiction genre of writing. Uh beta ji this story is a wonderful piece of science fiction. Okay but before we actually proceed to the point where the story begins in the textbook I think it's important to know what happened earlier Let's um try to proceed with the story in chronological order Before that uh the two main characters in this story are uh, number 1 Professor Gangadhar Panth Gaitonde who was an eminent historian from Pune and his friend Dr Rajendra Deshpande a scholar and research fellow so professor Gaitonde and Dr Rajendra Deshpande right so the story is set in the present world 1986 currently we are in 2020 so the setting of this story is 1986 um it was because uh, professor gaitonde was an acclaimed historian and an author that he was often invited to preside over seminars debates meetings uh things like college functions and such he had presided over 998 such functions already let's clap for him <laughs> excellent uh we also need to know that uh, dr uh, desh pande had been uh, his constant partner and supporter in all his ventures for his 999th function professor g gaitonde uh that's how i'll be referring to him professor g had been invited to preside over a seminar in the mathematics department a uh, historian and maths <laughs> well it was because this topic was a catastrophe theory the professor of mathematics weren't very clear uh, about the topic and so they reached out to professor gaitonde even though professor gaitonde knew about this theory he thought it would be wise to discuss it with his research friend a researcher friend dr rajendra deshpande So we won't get into the scientific aspects here in depth about the catastrophe theory. If you're keen about details, I would recommend that you look at page 72 of your textbook. That gives you the explanation in detail. In simple terms, catastrophe theory says that even a bit of deviation in any act can cause unexpected effects. Uh we could say that uh that uh, it is a loss of stability in a dynamic system uh, uh, riots sudden uh, incident of uh, one cricketer after the other one batsman after the other getting out uh, uh, you know outcomes of of uh, various battles or wars that have happened anyway professor g was already invited for his 999 seminar and was looking forward to the 100 uh, the 1000th seminar as an historian uh, it was natural because the topic for the 1000th seminar was rather close to it to his heart it was about uh, the third battle of uh, panipat <laughs> you know and uh, this was a battle fought on 14th january 1761 between the marathas and the afghans so the maratha side was led by sadashiv rao bhau and vishwas rao peshwa and the afghan side was led by ahmed shah abdali the bottom line the marathas had lost 
So Professor G was walking back home preoccupied in his thoughts about the third battle of Panipat. He was also thinking about the application of the catastrophe theory to this. And uh, while he was walking on the sidewalk, he was thinking, what if the Peshwas had won? How would it have impacted our world, our country? So engrossed was he. you know in in his thoughts that he didn't realize that he had stepped off the sad walk sidewalk and onto the bombay pune highway and suddenly my god there was a crash he was hit by a truck the driver in panic got off looked really hard for the man he had hit hoping to find him around no one he couldn't see him had the impact of the collision thrown him at a distance no no way to be seen where was the professor beta ji he'd vanished 60 hours later that's about one and a half days later he was found in bombay lying on the roadside from pune to bombay what had happened how had he reached bombay um uh, we'll come to all that later you also need to know that professor g's son vinay gaitunde worked at the forbes company in bombay so professor g contacted his son stayed in bombay for a few more days and then took a train back to pune he was utterly confused about what had happened His train the Deccan Queen passed the Karjat station and it was here that he felt something in his pocket which helped him clear the mystery. Let's unravel the details. First of all, beta ji, I'm sure uh that you all know about an atom and the electrons and orbits. You see when the light hits the electron, it gets energized and then the electron jumps from an orbit of lower energy to that of higher energy. Now, if you were a science fiction writer, how would you use this to talk about uh the neurons in the brain? You would say that the neurons in the brain could also behave in the same way. So applying this mix of fact and fiction to Professor G, we can say that the collision with the truck and his deep thoughts about the third battle of Panipat and the catastrophe theory excited the neurons in his brain. And what do you think happened? Well, he remained there, but his universe shifted. in the sense that his reality shifted he was in a parallel universe confusing okay well imagine a loaf of bread right a full loaf of bread i think about how many 20 slices 13 8 12 slices whatever slice 1 is your universe but all other slices of bread are also parallel universes in time travel you move from one place to another different times you know you could be in 1980 you could move to 1640 but when it comes to traveling uh, the realities of the parallel universe you stay exactly where you are the time stays the same too just that the reality of your universe shifts so professor g's universe after the highway accident shifted he remained in 1986 at the accident site but this was a universe with a different reality he was taken to a hospital in pune and there the doctor told him that the marathas had defeated the afghans he was shocked how did this happen he finally took a train decided to train take a train back to pune and this uh, sorry back to bombay from the pune hospital and this is where the chapter in your textbook begins the lesson begins the jija mata express sped along i'm going to stop here for part 1 i request you all to read the chapter hope to catch you in part 2 till then stay safe stay well good day